Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about Ollie turning four months. He is a big boy. He's a chunky little man. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I always leave my Instagram down below. Um, but I just posted like the chunkiest little pictures of him. He is like the cutest little man. Oh my god. Also, don't mind my appearance. Like newborn. Well, I guess he's not a newborn anymore. <laughs> baby plus sweaty weather means hot mess mom okay um but i still wanted to make sure that this video was going up so yeah um so again like i say in all of these videos if you're new here my name's jessica and i just had a baby boy named oliver he is four months old and i'm just going to show you tell you exactly what has been going on with him and i got all my notes yes it's on paper because that's just the way i roll <laughs> okay don't also don't mind the mess in the background I'm just a hot mess, okay guys? Alright. I'm gonna start off, like always, with his feedings. He is a chunk of man. He likes to eat. He eats, like, five ounces every two to three hours still. But we've been incorporating cereal or rice into his daily routine. So, about three days before he turned four months, he started eating cereal so we would give him about a tablespoon mixed with four tablespoons not four like two and a half tablespoons of um breast milk <laughs> mixed in with a tablespoon of rice every morning and then we'd also do it at nighttime and we're feeding him through the spoon i will link everything that i use for feedings down below um so yeah He's currently eating off a spoon, and he does honestly surprisingly very well with a spoon. I honestly think that he's ready for salads, but I don't know if I should start him on it yet because he honestly just hit four months. Um, I don't think. I think he's like ready himself, but I don't think his stomach is ready for that. So I'm gonna wait till we go to the doctors to see that. Um, we also switched his nipples on his tommy tippy bottles to size two if you don't know this already they come with like the size one you need to like change the nipples out as they get older so the flow is faster for them um or they're gonna get frustrated ollie gets very frustrated because it's super slow to eat off of a number one nipple now so i decided to switch him up um to the next level so he's in the size two um that's it for feedings so we're gonna move on to sleeping. He sleeps fairly well, but um, he gets like on and off. It depends on like what's going on throughout the day, if he's napping correctly. I think I said this in the last one. We're not really on a schedule only because he goes to the babysitters and I'm not really sure what she does throughout the day, but he doesn't have like a strict schedule. Whenever he's tired, we just put him down. Um, but we do keep to the sleep eat play routine like he doesn't really eat until after he sleeps so he gets up eats and then he plays for a little bit and then he goes back down um but the naps depend on how tired he is today he was taking some good good naps in the morning he took a two hour nap and then he took two hour naps throughout the day so he did pretty good so he'll probably sleep fairly well because he's not extremely cranky and he goes to sleep around six to seven o'clock every night and then he wakes up around five or six a.m. so he sleeps really good um and I also want to say that like the night stream routine has something to do with that if you are having trouble with your child sleeping through the night you might want to try implementing a night routine um I've done this night routine <laughs> I'm sorry I'm looking at my cat I've done this night routine with Oliver since the day we got home. I turn on the fan, I give him a bath, I turn on the humidifier, and then I sit and rock him to sleep, and that's been our night routine since he was a baby. Um, I am, when he gets a little older, I am going to start trying to do sleep training so he can help, so he can get himself to sleep, but for right now, I'm going to let him be my little baby, and I will rock him to sleep. So again, if you need... If you're having trouble with him your child sleeping try setting up a nighttime routine all right let's talk about his little milestones oh my god this man is just grown up he 
sort of I said in the last video he like he's only done it once he flips from like his back to his belly he just does not like being on his belly so he has done it again but I think he could do it I think he just does not want to do it <laughs> um but he can like he curves his back and can move his body around with his legs so he doesn't crawl but he can shift his body to where he wants to like be positioned so I don't know if I can am I explaining this right but he can like I'll leave him on the floor and go and get something out of the kitchen and the next minute he's a different position because he moves so um that's what he's doing he can sit up um I mean he leans forward a lot but he can sit up on his own for like a fairly good amount of time um but he does mostly get assistance from us but he can sit up which is why we started doing the cereal because that is like the first step to knowing that your child is ready for more food um assistance sitting so he does sit up and he's honestly really good at it i'm gonna insert a video right now hey, buddy. Um, he grabs his toys with his hands like full fist mode when he grabs his toys and he shakes them around like a crazy person So that's what he's been doing. He can interact with his toys and play and he's really enjoying Smacking himself in the face with toys because he can't get them in his mouth yet. So that's fun <laughs> um, And he likes to talk I said this in my last video he really does like to talk but now he just screams at everybody and it's really fun to watch um, him scream at the cat and Lily for attention so yeah <laughs> um his favorite toys at the moment are his walker I will insert a little video of him walking No, I don't let him walk by himself. Um, he mostly shoves his feet to the back and just like hangs there. Um, but this particular day he was walking. So he likes his walker. He still likes his activity center from Skip Hop. Uh, that thing is great. You can take out toys, put toys on, and he just like spins around and likes playing with everything on there. He also enjoys his high chair now. We bought the Ingenuity 3-in-1 high chair. Mmm. <laughs> is that good? Is that good? Is that good, buddy? Yeah. Spitting it out. <laughs> this is gonna be a messy process. Yes, it is. You're gonna be full of cereal. Good boy. Mm. You ate that one. Good Is that boy. good? Is that so good? <laughs> Booby milk. Yay. Oliver. Open. Open. He likes the flowers. They are. They are. Uh, uh. Good job, little man. Is he supposed to eat this all? He's probably not going to eat it all. Only a tablespoon of cereal and more breast milk. You could try feeding them. You could try it all. I still have to eat um, Because we had the Ingenuity little blue seat and he's too chunky to fit in that anymore. So we bought a new one and he sits in that and he really enjoys sitting there. But you can stick the toys on there, the high chair comes apart, all that good stuff. So yeah. He still hates high chairs. I mean, he still hates car seats. <laughs> so we ended up giving the baby infant car seat that goes with the stroller to the babysitter to use. And we 
ended up putting his like his bigger car seat in our car um because now that he's starting to sit up we just like put him in the carrier and we take him out with us or and we bought um a car seat cover a cart cover what am i talking about can you tell him exhausted <laughs> I bought a cart cover and put it in the cart, but he's too young for that. He just wiggles around, so he is not ready for that, but we just carry him around in the carrier. Um, but he still hates the car seat, even though he's sitting up. <laughs> he doesn't like it. Um, clothing. He's currently in 9 to 12 month clothing. He's just a chunk of man. He is just really big. <laughs> um, we still... He's basically in sleepers all night and then I send him with clothes to the babysitters because it's usually chilly in the morning. Um, but the last week has been extremely hot so I've been changing him but he's basically in sleepers and rompers like I said in the last video. Just because I like him to be comfortable. Um, I do sometimes put him in onesies and a pair of pants if it's cold but that's basically what he lives in. And then I also want to say a shout out, a huge shout out to my babysitter because she is amazing. She keeps up with his breast milk. She keeps up with him snaps. She keeps up with his feedings. Like she's just like on this, and she is amazing. Like she's got three kids of her own, and she really went out of her way to help me. And I, like, I'm so appreciative. I was. I'm not sure if anybody knows this but Anthony's dad or Anthony's mom was supposed to be the babysitter but that fell through so we were really last minute as to finding her as a babysitter and she does great um, and they also have like a little dog like a puppy that is obsessed with him and they do really well together so oh my god it makes me happy um, so yeah that's pretty much it Oliver is just getting huge um I will insert videos and and pictures of my little chunky man getting huge Instagram please do I always have it down in the description box below and that's pretty much it guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hearing all about little Oliver getting big soon we'll just be celebrating his first birthday <laughs> okay so yeah I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys